Hi guys and welcome to London. I'm Alex Stead. I'm a London-based travel and adventure photographer. As we're all inside, I'm collaborating with Nikon on Create Your Light Challenge. So this week I wanted to show you guys how you can create great macro shots uh, from the comfort of your home and maybe try something a little different. This is my first time I've picked up a macro lens ever, so I'm very excited and also very nervous uh, what the outcome is gonna be. So we can fail and succeed together. So my concept today is using an old fish tank that I found in the garage, uh, but you can use anything which is clear and that your camera can see through. Uh, try avoid stuff which is scratched or whatever, or distorted, that can affect your image and it could be harder to focus. So my idea today is dropping acrylic paints into the water and seeing what unique shapes I can capture with this 105 millimeter macro lens. So this is what I'm using today, 105 uh, millimeter macro lens with a Z7. I picked the Z7 as I really love the focus peaking it has. You don't necessarily need a macro lens. I'd love to see um, you just try this anyway. If you don't have a macro lens, it'd be really interesting to see what you come up with. Uh, you can always just crop in or take a slightly wider shot. So in terms of the settings, I kept the f-stop as high as possible uh, beyond f F20. Macro lenses are a little bit different to usual ones and uh, this macro lens is 105 millimeter can go up to f40 which is incredible. My shutter speed I kept it as a thousandth of a second uh, to make sure I had a high enough shutter speed to capture the shapes moving. ISO I kept it higher than usual uh, but I know on a Z7 it has great ISO performance so I wasn't too worried about that set up this experiment in my garden today and I had a load of lights that I use for content like this, like YouTube stuff, uh, so I'm lucky enough to have a few lights. The best thing to do is pump as much light into the container uh, you are using full of water. It really helps keep a higher f-stop and a higher shutter speed. However, I don't think you need these huge uh, lights that I was using, you could just use whatever uh, you can find at home. So my biggest challenge of this whole thing was trying to find focus. So first of all, I had an idea that I was gonna use a cardboard cutout across the top uh, and then have a hole and then I would drop the liquid through that hole and be able to find focus a lot easier. Uh, but this didn't entirely fix the problem. I stuck a stick uh, where down that hole to find focus with the lens below, uh, with manual focus and focus peaking on. I got focus straight away, that's really easy. But the problem is when you drop acrylic paint, it obviously disperses throughout the water really fast and outwards. Uh, so I was trying to experiment with trying to find the best place to focus on, uh, which gave me the maximum amount of detail. You obviously won't, you won't be able to focus on everything, uh, but there is like a kind of sweet spot you can find. So my next idea was getting a water bottle and trying to recreate uh, what the liquid would do once it hits the water. I didn't really want to do uh, the paint experiment every single time to try and find focus as I would have to empty the fish tank because it makes it super murky uh, every single time. So that was not really an easy option. The water bottle method worked really well. I basically just got the water bottle and squirted water really powerfully uh, where the hole was and it gave me a really good idea uh, of the bubbles coming through where my lens was uh, to where I needed to be focusing. After this I did multiple experiments uh, with acrylic paint while dropping it. I did some uh, with dropping it, just free dropping it and then others I used the water bottle to see if that made a better effect. Honestly it was a lot easier just dropping it down uh, as it didn't go in so fast and you could adjust your focus point just if it was a little bit off. I think the water bottle method was a good idea but I think you need more of like a little syringe uh, to inject it into that area as the water bottle kind of just covered the entire frame really quickly and didn't really help. I mostly focused all day on using acrylic paints but I also tried quickly some varnish, uh, some nail varnish. It actually worked really well. I love the textures and the bubbles it created. It actually just ruined the plastic so be careful of varnish because it just sticks uh, to everything. Overall I found this a lot more challenging than I could ever imagine. Um, I thought it was actually going to be not straightforward but fairly uh, easy. It's not at all. So I'm really looking forward to what you guys get up to and yeah, good luck.